everybody, Ali Gear here, just back from a run, and I wanna take you through just a quick practice to kind of help release your tissues, unwind your tissues, re-lengthen your tissues. Really great recovery session. Um, so won't take long. When you're ready, I want you to grab a tennis ball or a, a myofascial release tool, like a, a therapy ball. Um, and if you have a foam roller, please go ahead and grab a foam roller. And then I'll meet you on the mat. So we're going to start in the standing position with just a little bit of release here for the feet. So come on up to stand. Anytime I go for a run, I just like to spend a few moments just releasing any tension that may have collected in the feet. So I'm just going to do a rolling technique. And I'm rolling from the ball of the foot towards the heel, ball of the foot towards the heel. And I'm rolling with a consistent amount of pressure. So a, no, a nice amount of tr a pressure that feels tolerable for me. And rolling from ball of the foot towards the heel, just getting some release. And then real quick, we're just going to scribble. This is going to kind of clean up the area, get rid of any unnecessary things that we don't need in the feet. Also enhancing kind of that proprioception in the sensory nerves. So just a really quick unwind for the feet. Won't spend a lot of time here, but a little bit can really go a long way. And then you're gonna switch to your other foot and you're gonna roll from the ball of your foot towards your heel with a significant amount of pressure, as long as that feels tolerable for you. Just getting a nice little release into the feet, the feet that just worked so hard for you. Thank you, feet. <laughs> Probably one of the most underappreciated areas of our body, <laughs> our feet. <sighs> and then nice and fast, really, really light superficial touch, just scribbling all over the bottom of the foot here. And then scribble on your other foot, really light touch here, barely, barely touching the bottom of my foot. Just scribbling all over in an unorganized fashion. And then switch one more time on your other foot. Real quick, light touch. I call this scribbling. Good, and then step off of that. Come on down to hands and knees. Tuck all 10 toes into the mat and slowly start to sit your hips back towards your heels. Now you can keep your hands in the floor. You can bring your hands up onto your thighs or you can come all the way to sit back onto your heels. And I want you just to take a moment just to get a nice deep stretch into the feet, into the plantar fascia of the feet. Really waking up this area. And then just drop into your breath. Always be breathing. And if that pinky toe kind of flipped up on you, maybe use your hands and tuck that pinky toe back in. Great, and then you're gonna lean forward and then just take a moment just to tap out the toes. If it's accessible for you today, you could even sit back onto your heels and lift your knees off the floor. That's gonna give you a nice stretch into the front of the ankle. And then just take a nice deep breath here. Great, and then you're gonna slowly make your way onto your back or into a seat. You have the option to choose. We're gonna do a little bit of just flushing for the back of the legs, the hamstrings, so the calves and the hamstrings. So you're gonna take your right leg, place it over the foam roller, and then left knee into the floor, and then hands behind you, and then all you're gonna do now is just start to roll up and down on that calf muscle. Now you can stay here. If you wanna feel a little bit more sensation, you could even cross your opposite leg and then you're just rolling back and forth and it helps to keep your hips on the ground. So the rolling technique is the first one. And then to really kinda of get a little bit more release and hydration, I'm just gonna hold pressure, keep my calf on the foam roller so I'm gonna maintain contact and then I'm just gonna kind of start to just rock my pelvis or my leg in and out. So I'm internally and externally rotating the leg here. So 
You're just going to kind of just rock it from side to side. But as you can see, the whole time I'm keeping contact with that calf. So just getting a nice little release, breaking up any tension that exists into the calves, which is often my common area. And then maybe going even a little bit lower, kind of closer towards that Achilles tendon, a major junction point here. Again, I'm just rocking it a little side to side. Maybe going a little bit further up, rocking side to side. Good, and then you're gonna just switch. So starting kind of right in that middle calf area, right knee can bend, and then you're gonna just start to roll up and down. Or if you wanna feel a little bit more pressure, you can cross that opposite leg, and you can start to just rock back and forth here. Now you could also do this from lying down. It would be the same idea here, a little less pressure, which might feel nice. It might feel even a little bit more relaxing as like a really nice wind down here. Your choice, choose your own adventure. Always stay with your breath though. And then we'll cross fiber. So you're gonna kind of come right towards, we'll start at the Achilles. So right above the Achilles tendon, that major junction point here, keep the pressure and start to just kind of rock that foot side to side. And then maybe roll towards like that larger portion of the calf muscle and you're rocking side to side. And I'm just kind of internally and externally rotating the leg here. So rocking it side to side and then maybe it moves out of the way so I move it back. But just kind of getting an overall hydration. You can even do this with both legs if you really wanna save some time and just rock both legs back and forth. Keeping that contact on the legs the whole time. And just getting a nice little release into those tissues. Fabulous. All right, now we're gonna move to the hamstrings. So come all the way, place your legs over. I actually personally like to kind of just drape my legs over, let them get nice and heavy. And then you're just gonna start to just rock your legs back and forth. You could also, I find it helpful to do this on the back. And we're not going for deep release here. This is more just kind of a flushing. So really getting blood flow and circulation into the area. I'm maintaining that contact on the foam roller the whole time. Maybe I'm gonna lower that foam roller kind of mid-thigh region, let the legs get heavy, breathe, and then just kind of rock my knees, my legs side to side. Sometimes this works a little better if you have one of those larger foam rollers, but it's still doing a great job. Nice, easy breath here. Just getting this overall flow back into the legs, releasing any tension, tightness. Maybe go back up towards those sit bones, drape the legs over, and then you're just rocking it back and forth. So it's kind of like a, like a windshield wipe, right? Okay, and then you're gonna come off of that Make your way into downward facing dog and from downward facing dog, just take a nice deep stretch here. Nice deep stretch. Notice maybe those heels are kind of landing a little differently. Bend one knee and straighten the other. That's gonna put a little more pressure into that straight leg. And then do the same thing with the other leg. Good, and then we'll just get a nice deep stretch here. Walk your feet towards each other. Grab opposite elbows and just hang here. Let gravity really support you. Good, and then I like to follow this up with a release for the spine. So we're gonna start at that thoracic spine right between the shoulder blades. You're gonna bring your hand behind your head feet into the floor, and just start to roll up and down here just between the shoulder blades. Really, really good for releasing tension. We often get tight in the thoracic spine when we work out, whether it's due to compensation patterns or just tightness in general. Maybe it's stress kind of rising up and slowly releasing out. Could be many things here. And then you're gonna place the um, hips into the floor, take a full breath in. This is the key here. 
We're going to take a full breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to extend your head back, getting a nice opening through the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift back up, and then just roll a little bit more. Maybe now you're right below your shoulder blades. And as you can see here, I like to roll the spine in small sections. I find it to be really helpful for getting kind of more of an overall release. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to release your head towards the earth. And just breathe there. Nice, deep breath. And then as you inhale, you're going to lift yourself back up, kind of come into that low back area. And with this part, I'm going to stay a little bit more upright, maybe place my hands or my forearms into the floor. And I'm just going to get a nice little roll right into that lumbar curve here. It just feels really good. Nice release. Maybe even getting a little bit of popping and clicking. All OK as long as it's not feeling painful. You might need to adjust. And then we're going to make our way onto the sacrum. Lift your hips, slide that right underneath your sacrum. And we'll just take a moment here, just getting a little bit of hydration for the SI joint. So you're going to rock your knees over to the right side. I'm kind of, my, my foam roller is sitting right at the top of the sacrum, right? So you might need to kind of shift a little bit here. And I'm right on the right side, not all the way over on the hip, but I'm kind of right in between that space, between sacrum and hip, right, that soft tissue area. And then I'm just going to start to just walk my feet back and forth. So we're just getting some movement and some hydration for that SI joint. Really important area to release tension after a run. And then you're going to come on back to center, switch over to your left side. So I'm not going all the way over onto the left hip bone. I'm staying kind of in that soft tissue area of the thor thoracolumbar fascia. And then from here, you're just going to start to rock your knees back and forth. Nice, easy breath. And then come on back to center. This time, let your feet drop to the floor. Lower your, um, lower your foam roller just a smidge. So now it's kind of sitting right underneath the hip bone. And then you're going to come back up and draw your left knee into your chest. Extend your right leg. And this is going to give you just a nice lengthening through the front of the hip flexor here. Deep breath in. And an exhale out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then let's switch. Right knee hugs in, left leg extends. And you want to try to get that heel towards the floor. And then just take a moment to breathe. Nice, easy breath. Great. And then you're going to slowly bend your left knee, place your right foot into the floor, lift your hips, slide the foam roller out from underneath you, and then just spend a few moments just kind of rocking side to side, massaging the low back and the hips. Good. One more release here. We're going to come on up to all fours, and we're going to release the quadriceps. So you're going to take your... Um, foam roller just kind of right above the um, right at the top of the th or the bottom of the thigh right above the knee here and then your left knee is going to come out to the side and then you're going to come down onto your forearms so my left knee kind of bends out to the side and I'll show you from the opposite direction here which might be helpful my left my, my knee comes out to the side and I'm just going to roll in sections here, just getting a little bit of overall hydration into the quadriceps. So not going for that deep release, and I'm working in sections. So I'm going to take maybe about 30 seconds, working my way towards the upper part port, portion of the thigh. I could even maybe bend and straighten the leg a little bit as long as that feels okay for you. Don't overdo it. I'm just getting some overall hydration into the tissues that just work so hard for you. 
Thank you, thighs. <laughs> and then you're going to switch, come to the second side one more time. Right above the kneecap here, opposite knee comes out to the side, and then you're just starting in that lower portion of the calf, rolling up and down. If it feels okay, you can bend and straighten. Start to work your way up the top of the thigh. I'm in that middle portion now. Nice breath here. Nice, easy breath. And then slowly working towards the upper portion of the thigh. And our breath is really, really crucial to our ability to recover our tissues after we've asked them to work. So breath is so important to get the brain and the nervous system to really connect here, to re-lengthen, to unwind. And then we're going to come into a lunge. So I'm going to have you set the foam roller off to the side. Sometimes I even use this as a kickstand for the opposite leg. So peek up here. So right leg is going to step forward, and then I'm going to come into that lunge. And maybe I'm going to place that foam roller right in front of the left thigh, and that's going to give just a little extra support here so that my pelvis can really just drop into the ground. Now, if you want to let gravity support you a little bit more, you can release that and just let the pelvis drop. And then just take a few deep breaths. Just re-lengthening these tissues, overall hydration here. And then you're going to straighten that front leg, get a lengthening through that right leg, releasing into that hamstring. Maybe even point the toes, tuck the chin here. It'll get you a little bit into the sciatic nerve. Really good. And then we're going to flow in and out now. So you're going to bend your knee, lift your chest, and then you're going to exhale and straighten. Point your toes. Tuck your chin. Inhale, shift forward, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, straighten, point the toes. And then inhale, come forward, we're going to switch sides. Left leg forward, and then maybe you use that foam roller as a little kickstand here and let your pelvis drop in. Or you have that option just to let gravity now take over. And then just settle back into your breath. And then you're going to just slowly straighten that front leg. Pause there. Maybe even point the toe and tuck the chin. And then inhale, shift forward, lift your head, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten, just flowing in and out. Point the toe, tuck the chin. Inhale, shift forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale one more time, come forward, heart lifts, exhale, straighten, point the toes, tuck the chin, pause here and just take a full breath in, full breath out, great, and then from here you're going to come to a seat, take your legs nice and wide, legs nice and wide, inhale, lift and lengthen, Exhale, slowly forward fold. Maybe rest your forehead onto your, the edge of your foam roller. And just get a nice lengthening through those tissues. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in. And out. And then you're going to shift back up little release for the hips and nice and simple so I'm just gonna sit onto the foam roller and then I'm just gonna lean into my left cheek and just roll up and down into that left cheek I'm not doing big point and release here but just getting this overall hydration and then I'm gonna lean my knees to the right rolling up and down kind of right into that glute max of the right cheek And then you're going to slowly come off of that, lower back down, 
option for figure four on your back, or if pigeon feels okay, we're gonna come into that. So right knee's gonna come forward, left leg extends. If this hip is lifting off the ground, it's gonna be helpful to maybe grab a blanket or just something to kind of just support right underneath there. A towel or a blanket or sweatshirt even. It'll just help you find a little more support so that you can drop into the ground. And we'll just pause here, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then slowly lower down onto your forearms. Couple more breaths here, just slowing it down. And then we're gonna slowly switch. If you had the prop, you might wanna set that off to the second side. Lift back up, come into downward facing dog. Just pause there for a moment to neutralize. Left knee bends. You're gonna slowly let that hip drop down. Maybe grab a little extra support right underneath the sit bone of the left hip. And then you're gonna just slowly start to make your way down onto the forearms if that feels okay. If that's too deep, just stay on your hands. And then use the breath. Use the breath to really just kind of re-lengthen, soften the area that you might feel tension. Nice, easy breath here. And then you're going to slowly make your way out of pigeon and come onto your back. Bend your knees, place your feet into the floor, and then draw your knees into your chest and take your knees over to the right. Place your right hand onto the outside of your left thigh. And for a moment, I just want you to add a little resistance. So I'm gonna press my thigh into my hand and I'm gonna push my hand into my thigh. Just add a little bit of resistance for just a moment there, kind of realigning these tissues. And then you're just gonna relax and soften into your twist. Nice deep breath in, exhalation out. And then you're gonna bring your knees back to center and we'll do the second side. Bring your knees into your chest and slowly shift your knees over to the left. And then take your left hand onto your right thigh. Add a little bit of resistance here. Not forceful, but just a little bit of pressure so you kind of get these tissues to realign. In the back of the hip. And then relax and soften into your twist. Deep breath in, exhale out. Deep breath in, easy breath out. And then slowly bring your knees back to center, wash the knees a little side to side, and then just extend your legs, taking a moment here just to recalibrate and land onto the ground. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Slowly draw your knees into your chest, make your way to your side and press on up to a seat. Now, any one of these postures that we worked on today, I encourage you, if it felt really good, maybe stay for a few more rounds of breath. So come back to this whenever you'd like, um, but really use this to recover your body and to take care of it and nourish it post-recovery workout. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Namaste.